It feels like we've waited an eternity, and I am so glad that we are finally back, man. Y'all, y'all know how much I enjoy this show, so to be here and to finish the final episodes with you guys means means a lot, for real, for real. So I'm so excited to get through these with you guys. You guys know how much I enjoy this show. I know how much you enjoy this show, so so on a good note, man, for real, we're getting two episodes. We're getting back to back, so um, we're definitely going to try our best to burn through these on top of that. With there only being like six episodes left, I know craps, it has to go down. Like, they have to wrap up everything. So, it, it hurts to say this, but I feel as though we might get some some deaths within the next... My lisp kicked in like so strong there, but in the next, you know, maybe a few episodes. And it just, it hurts to even think about, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see. But, like I said, I am so excited. So, we're going to try our best to burn through both of them. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited to hear your thoughts. Do not be shy. All opinions are valid. Go nuts. All comments are, are welcome, so just talk to me in the comment section. Uh, feel free to support me by going to my uh, description and following my socials. And um, yeah, now let me go all that YouTube stuff out of the way. I can't wait no more. We're getting into this. Let's get busy. As you can tell by my hair, I just roll out of, rolled out of bed. So yeah, do not comment on that, please. I really hope there's a previously on. Grey Worm. A lot of stories about when the world fell. Oh, you tell me starting there off, bro. Oh my God. There. They know what they're doing. Almost. Stop showing me, Rick. Each other. Why are you doing this, bro? Making sound families. This is how we're starting off, man. Let's get the back, though. Into the darkness. Oh, sheesh, bro. Will it be tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Man, I'm excited. Good girl on attack mode, bro. Ooh, we're <laughs> we're here to take out shithead in the dickless brigade. Hey, what they've never seen your face before. Hey, we're recruiting Negan. All right, this man Negan has this habit of being like a double agent. I love that. No, Annie, not you too. Are you pregnant, bro? Don't be stupid. I'm fucked either way. The f bombs. Bravo. Is that Negan? That has to be Negan, right? It looked like him. Oh, where, bro? Oh, there he is. I love how the whisperer technique still comes in handy. Damn, bro. Yo, it's good to be back. Yo, what the hell is this? I don't remember this. Am I tripping? That, that was never there. Did they change the theme or am I just, you know, having a brain cramp? You get a message to the Commonwealth. I don't Orange think this is so strong. With the wrong people. Now. Oh shit! Kill him! Uh, yo, he's so nervous. Nah, no bullshit. I kind of like that he's going in guns first. Like he's he looks at the soldiers for help and shit, but he's not afraid to get his hands dirty. Yo, are we really getting a car chase, bro? This is insane. Oh <laughs> yes. When, have we ever had one of these in this show? Oh, yo, <laughs> oh, man, they're delivering on action, man. I'm loving it. Money for lives. Imagine being in this universe, having the privilege to uh, protest. Hey, look at Ka. Oh, she's so, she's so happy. Secure the station. Mercer. I need you today. I suit up. Damn. Oh shit, I forgot to take notes. <laughs> Get him some water. No. He really has to ask twice? Who sent you? I think you know who sent me. So listen. So this <laughs> Oh shit. Let's see, the problem is that we got people in here to protect too. That's my job. And yet, I was sent here. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. yeah Alright. Damn, you don't Carol. Like burned. <laughs> who likes pancakes well done? Like, well well done. Like, I mean, black. Unless there's a campfire, Daryl has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's a good cook wherever he is. Oh shit. Oh uh, shit. No! No! Oh, she's good. Are they not gonna see Let's that the pancakes school. are like fresh? Oh, he's gonna notice. Oh, I love this. Hey. Turn 
Jordan might have been right. I probably should have stayed in the goddamn cabin. <laughs> you gonna disappear us too? Hey! Hey! hey. Don't suppose she would have an idea who wrote that piece, do you? Mm. That's surprising that she did. Uh oh. This ain't good. <laughs> How many Everyone writers are out there? Us. I mean, isn't it obvious that it's Carmen? You know she's lying. Even if I've read you and told me a lot. Yeah. Until then. Damn, bro. A swarm has been detected five miles out. Lockdown has been instituted. Oh, now you're paying attention. Oh, I gotta tell. Hey. I tell you I got married. You expecting a congratulations? Why are you telling me this now? <laughs> she is carrying our child. Uh, it's gonna be okay. Really? Yo, Carol, something else, bro. Those are words you just never expected to hear, but probably feel they feel nice. I know that Leah meant something to you. Oh, now we're talking about this, bro. No. Glenn would have wanted me to look out for you. Oh, stop it. You don't have to ever say sorry. Not to me. I, I, you know, every time they make it like a mention or just mention another character, bro, it kills me. Oh no! Hello there. This is awkward. Small favor, please. <laughs> Maybe we can get them to come down here to us. Smart. <laughs> Secret door. If he's in there, then that means someone was helping him because who put the plant back? Oh, this man is just wasted. You know who I am. Oh, Nobody cares who you are, you entitled piece have, of crap. I have seen her pull little bunnies right out of her ass with my very own two eyes. <laughs> so if violation of curfew, they're just the mourning, bro. Is past the first two Yo, wow. Nah, this is crazy right here, bro. No, no, he recognizes him. Hey. Hey, Yo, shut him up, Negan. Really? Is that the swarm? No way they're getting through. Not the tear gas. In this job, I need people like you, people I can trust. Really? I can't. I'm sorry. My daughter and my family will always come first. I respect that. I love Rosita, bro. If the time comes and you decide to go and you need help getting out, I got you. Word? All right, Lucy. Oh shit, bro. No, that guy ain't making it. Oh my god. Let go of the Mercer, he's gone! Yo, you can't be freezing up like this Mercer, what the hell? Damn, bro. Uh, so they are separating them, that's good. That's cool to see, man, seriously. Oh, man. Oh shit! Nah, I was coming. That, that. You really tell me. You've had to expect that. Bring those strings on me. Hey, Aaron. Oh shit! Yeah! Oh shit! Oh, there's so many of them, bro. Oh, he's crazy. Oh, that's it. No. All right, so there we go with episode 17, right? So it's crazy, man. We're back. I mean, that was a, a fun start, you know? And um, a lot of different moments in this episode where it's just getting me super excited to see what's to come. And it's crazy that we only have a few more episodes left in this show that we all love so much. And it's like, if you can get through 11 seasons of a show, man, you are, you're a true fan. You're, you're, you're a true fan. So big props to all of you, man. But seriously, I mean, this has been... There's a lot of crap going on, considering that we look at the Commonwealth and we thought this was going to be a fun, safe place. And, uh, of course, you know, they're taking a turn, you know, things are going to hell, there's protests, and I mentioned this in the reaction, but if you can, you know, live in a world where not many people are 
are as lucky to have this, you know, but still have the privilege to to protest. I mean, I feel like you're living pretty good, but I still understand where they're coming from. Like, they have every right to be furious. And, you know, they weren't violent, like crazy violent. So the way they're handling things, they aren't being terrible. Like, I understand everything they're doing, I condone. I mean, so far, I mean, unless they did something that I don't remember. But still, um, obviously, uh, Pam Pamela, she isn't crazy, crazy like Hornsby, but still, I mean, I'm, I'm interested to see where it does go, because obviously... Uh, she is going to try to do what she can for Sebastian. But like Sebastian said, the Commonwealth is her baby. So I feel as though there might be a few sacrifices made, whether it's, you know, coming at, uh, you know, uh, uh, Sebastian realizing that Pamela's not going to look out for her, for him. And I don't know, some crazy shit's going to happen. Um, I know a lot of you were expecting to get, you know, uh, you know, of course, how Rick died in the comics that you guys expected to see something similar, but with another character. I feel as though they are going to do that. I don't know who, you know, with who, who's going to be on the other end of that, uh, you know, of the bullet. But um, I feel as though, you know, we're going to see Sebastian get even crazier. And, you know, even now it looks like he's at rock bottom, but I don't believe that that's as low he's going to as as low as he's going to get. I feel like things are just going to get crazier from this point on because, you know, he's a crazy son of a bitch. I mean. Really isn't anything else to say. Uh, we start off with a nice montage, which is always great. But to see these familiar faces like Rick and all them, you know, it's always cool, you know. But, like, we start off with the don't open dead inside or don't, what is it, don't open dead inside? Yeah, or don't dead open inside. Because, um, you know, it's it sounds like it's Judith, you know, with the narration. But it was just really cool to see that, you know. Rick is a character that we're just so excited to see again and with the limited series dropping. It's going to be so awesome to see him. And I feel as though you just can't have a Walking Dead finale without Rick. And I feel like that that's just something we need. So uh, I guess we'll find out in a few episodes if he ends up, you know, popping up. But it's just something that I'm just so excited for considering that he's just been, he has been the Walking Dead. So just, you know, having it without him would just be crazy to me. But And the fact that the, the actor is around continuing Walking Dead stuff. It seems like a, a perfect opportunity. Like, I understand if they're, they're, like, he's not really involved with the franchise or whatever, then I understand them it being a little more difficult. But it's like he's still involved with this, so I'm sure that they, they had to have figured something out. And um, I know, like, there's been little things. Like, I remember, I think he made an Instagram post. I'm pretty sure he deleted it or what, but, like, it was a while ago saying that um, putting on the boots for the first time, you know, filming or something like that. And that was, like, in the beginning of this year. So it seems like, um, or, or whenever, like, you know, it seems like it would have been around the time where they filmed the finale. So I don't, I don't know. I just, I'm just hoping for it, you know, cause he's just, oh man, it's, it's going to be so fun to see him, bro. Like, I can just imagine him and Michonne rolling up, bro. It'd be awesome. We see a bunch of action to, to start off the show. Daryl, of course, you know, kicking ass and it's a great way to start it off. And of course us waiting so long for this, it's perf a perfect way to bring it back. So I honestly enjoyed that, but we have a car chase, which is something we've never really had in the show, which, uh, at least that I remember. And it lasted a little longer than some of the other things that I, uh, some of the other craziness, uh, if we did have a car chase, this one is definitely the longest. But to see Negan kind of, uh, stepping up and, you know, helping our group, it's definitely a fun, a fun sight, you know, considering where we stood with him quite some time ago and the fact that he's slowly been making his way to, to officially being a part of our team. The fact that Daryl actually was the one who kind of pushed him forward and said, they don't know Negan, have him come through. I feel like it was, it's just a perfect opportunity to do it. And the fact that we kind of have Mercer in the inside, considering he's such a big dude, like like a part of the Commonwealth, and, and then, you know, he's kind of, you know, getting soft for our group. Like, he, he seems to enjoy our, our characters. I mean... It's just awesome to see, because Negan being in the Commonwealth, you know, of course, him being able to talk to Mercer, and we have that badass exchange where he's like, no, you know who sent me. Like, uh, I was sent here. And he's like, well, I can protect these people. He's like, well, if you could protect these people, I wouldn't have been sent here. I'm like, yes, man, Negan. Man, got some cool dialogue. Really enjoying to see where um that goes, because I know things are going to get crazy, considering Hornsby does have people on him, you know, in the inside. I do expect things to just get, you know, insane. So I, I will have to wait and see how that plays out. But I'm just, I'm really excited to see where it goes. Seriously, I mean, I'm having so much fun with this. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Um, Again, the protest, trying to find Sebastian, seeing them get, you know, gassed out of there. I mean, they're just going hardcore. The 
uh, Pamela, she, you know, was, uh, you know, on the side of it too. She was like, oh, uh, when we see her go like, oh yeah, my friends were there, you know, you used tear gas to get them out. And she was like, well, if your friends were following the rules, you know, we wouldn't have been in this situation. And I'm like, yo, like these people, uh, they weren't even really fighting back. They were just, you know, they're trying to mourn their, you know, their family. So things, I know things are just going to get even more intense and I'm, I'm, it's going to be fun to see things fall apart, you know, it's going to be entertaining. So I guess we'll have to wait and see Negan uh, and then Carol finding Sebastian, seeing this dude just down in the dumps, you know, of course, just hammered, drunk, you know, not a good look, you know. Um, of course, Negan having that nice speech, uh, absolutely loved it. I've seen this woman pull rabbits out of her ass, you know, she pulling, you know, throwing you a life raft, you take it. I'm like, yo, you know, Negan knows how it is, you know, I understand some people might be, you know, frenemies or whatever, but to, to, to understand or to have respect for a character, you know, it's cool. But, um, I did love the little interactions between Carol and Negan where Negan is just like, oh yeah, I have a girl, you know. We're married, and, you know, she's carrying my baby, and it's funny, because, like, how do you expect Carol to react? Like, well, you want her to drop a congratulations, but for Carol to actually kind of uh, be like, no, things will work out, you know? Like, all right, don't worry about it. It was just really cool to kind of see her be a little friendly towards him, and, you know, after everything, I don't... I don't blame them if they never want to be uh, friendly to uh, uh, Negan, you know? Like, Negan, Negan did shit that's just... It's not really forgivable. And I understand we've done stuff back, but I mean obviously with with both sides doing damage, it's just sometimes sometimes relationships just can't be built like that. But with Negan it's just been a little different and to see people actually being kind or you know, looking for him or looking to him for help, it's just interesting to see to me. And uh I'm I, I actually enjoy that. I think it's really cool. But yeah, I mean so far I'm really excited. The the Mercer and Rosita moment, honestly really cool. Uh, of course, we didn't get Princess, which was a little disappointed. Disappointing, because I, I enjoy Princess. But still, um, seeing Mercer saying, yo, I need someone here that I can trust. And, I, you know, I think you're that person. And then Rosita saying straight up, like, like, yo, out here killing walkers. Yeah, I'm your girl. But, like, over there, my family and my daughter come first. I'm like, yo, you know what, Rosita? I respect that. And Mercer did, too. And Mercer's still a... He, he's he's the guy, bro. Like, this man even said, like, if y'all need an out, like, I'm your guy. Like, I, I got your back, and I'm like, yo, like, I just, it makes me enjoy his character so much, because he's, like, one of the only people that are in this, you know, commonwealth that he's not a total douche, so, um, and as we saw, like, he cares about almost every soldier he has, as we, like, he was pulling this dude, and, bro, he should have let go, like, a year ago, maybe even been easier and put the dude out of his misery, but him pulling and the guy literally getting ripped apart, bro, yo, that was, that was crazy, like, should have known it was up. Like, I mean, I don't know if he didn't see it, but, like, bro, that that was crazy. He should have just put him out of his misery. But, of course, Mercer's going to be a really interesting character to see. And um, I'm here for it. We still got another episode we're going to watch. I do have a convention. I'm leaving at 7.30, and it is 4.50 in the morning. So, I'm going to quickly try to edit this so we can get this uploaded for you guys. And then I'm going to try to film the next one. That way, throughout the day, I can read comments and don't have to worry about spoilers. But I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It's still crazy. Um, Aaron is going to be at the convention I'm going to, well, I'm saying Aaron because you guys probably know him better by that, but, um, still debating if I want to grab a picture with him because, you know, we're going to New York Comic Con in a few days as well, so I'm trying to, like, save up all my cash for that, so, if yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, bro, we're about to take a picture with the Karate Kid, bro, I'm telling you. I'm looking forward to that at New York Comic Con, but we're going to be dropping some dope content. I'm looking forward to dropping content for New York and New York Comic Con as well. So um, go to TikTok if you're not, if you, you know, haven't already, because I'll be posting a lot of different things over there because it's a lot easier to post smaller content. Whereas here, I feel like I need to get a lot of editing, a whole bunch of other crap for, you know, me to post things. And I will post some of those TikToks here, but down the road, we're just, uh, TikTok, of course, always gets the shorts first. So pay attention to that. Um... Full reactions, if you want full reactions, let me know. I haven't really put together a lot of the... We have Walking Dead reactions over there, but not a crap ton. But if you guys want them, let me know and I'll throw them up. Um, I know we're, we've been throwing some stuff up there. Cobra Kai, if you're interested, go go over there. We've been throwing up our Cobra Kai reactions. But we got a whole bunch of other things that we are focusing on. So I'm really excited to just drop more content in general for you guys. House of the Dragon, we were really delayed on that. We're like halfway through editing episode 6, so I will get that done. Because I do want to make sure I get episode 7 done before I leave, um, because, of course, we're leaving Wednesday, and we'll be back around either Monday night or Tuesday, 
So I'm gonna be posting until either Tuesday or Wednesday. So it's gonna be it's just, it's just gonna be a lot of crap going on. So you're gonna bear with me. And then that that being said, The Walking Dead will be a little late. Episode three will be a little late due to um me not being in Massachusetts and I don't want to film on a you know I have a camera and stuff, but I don't want to film because it's I'm gonna be in an Airbnb with like ten other people. So it's just it's gonna be way too hectic to try to film a reaction. And uh, there's no way I'll be able to be by myself and they'll definitely be talking around me and sure that i'm sure you guys don't want to hear background noise while i'm uh, doing that and plus the editing and i don't know if i'll have time considering that i'll be occupied most of the time so i thought i'd be real and just talk to you guys and let you guys know what the what the plan is but again if you made it this far in the review let me know i i absolutely adore the people that do uh i adore all of you even if you're just watching the reaction and stuff but you guys have been awesome, and I'm just so glad to be back uh, dropping Walking Dead videos because these videos do well, and that makes me happy because it's one of my favorite shows to watch, and when it does well, it just it's good, you know, because I, I, there's a lot of shows I enjoy that I post that don't often do well, and it's, it's disappointing because it's like I want to continue it, but knowing that it's not just, you know, a lot of my time is just not, it's not working out, it's just... It's disappointing, but I'm really glad this is one of the shows that we both enjoy so much. So, can't wait to, to, to see how they conclude this amazing show uh, with you guys. And um, it's going to be fun. So, talk to me. Uh, do not be shy. And, again, I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope you're staying safe. And, oh, I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Uh, yeah. Peace out.